Number 46. Show that the units of volts squared per ohm is equal to a watt, as implied by the equation P is equal to V squared over R. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to write it down. P is equal to V squared over R. And what I'm going to do is I don't really want to work with ohms here. All right. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute on in this. So uh, re uh, remember blah, 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 that resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the current. All right. That's basically Ohm's law. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to substitute that on in. So we've got V squared over now V over I. And remember, this looks all kind of messy, right? It's a complex fraction. It's a fraction divided by a fraction, right? It's like the inception of fractions. So here, that's a reference to a movie in case you were wondering. And uh, what we can do is we can simply now take the numerator, all right, which I just put as V squared over one and multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator. In other words, I over V. So when we do that now, what does that become? Well, we realize that the voltage here will cancel. One of the voltages there, and we're going to get V times I, and that might look a little strange, but we can reorganize that as IV. And there it is now, right? So here, in the prior problem, number 45, I then went through the analysis of how this is exactly identical to a watt. Okay, in other words, how this now is equivalent to a watt. Check that out. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. So the problem isn't finished. Check out 45. All right, take care.